this is ashwin again in our last video tutorial we saw the difference between a function and a method in python 3 we saw uh, the differences uh, the major differences like how to declare them what sort of value uh, parameters that we have to mention while declaring them uh, and how we can call them uh, while executing them so uh, in this uh, in this particular video tutorial we are going to see a special method uh, for uh, for the classes uh, which is used to uh, assign the values to the variables of the class while we create the instance of the class so here in this particular example uh, you can see that we are defining a variable we are declaring a variable and uh, uh, initiating it uh, saying like p1 equal to point and then we are assigning the values 2 3 and 5 to the coordinates okay x y and z coordinates to of that point using a method known as assign okay so i want my code uh, to be more flexible as well as i want uh, to assign these values okay uh, 2, 3, 5 to the point p1 as soon as we create the object p1 okay so here we are actually doing this uh, this uh, we are accomplishing this task in two lines of code so i just want to replace it with a single line of code so that whenever i create or the object p1 it will immediately be assigned the values of x y and z coordinates so let's see how we can do that so uh, we can uh, we can achieve the same uh, th we can achieve the this um, uh, thing by means of a concept known as uh, the initializer method so an initializer method is uh, something analogous to a constructor in the programming languages like c++ and java but it is not actually constructor so it is known as initializer method in uh, python so let's see how we can how we can define that particular method so let's see so in order to define that we need to use a special uh, syntax we have to use double underscore and in it so this is how we initialize the method okay the init me init method uh, this is how we define the init method so let's say cell again x comma y comma z okay and let's copy and paste the code which that, that we are using for assignment of the values okay and then we can replace these two statements with a single statement the statement would look something like this Two comma three comma five. Okay, so this statement now replaces these two statements. So these two statements are not needed anymore. Okay, again we uh, deleted the function also, and p two is equal to point. Let's say so the output will be. Uh, output will uh, of this uh, particular uh, code will be the same as the earlier piece of code so here we are just uh, accepting uh, these x y z as parameters while uh, yeah, associating this particular object with this class point okay so we are actually declaring and initiating the object in the same in the same same line so we are passing uh, the values of x y and z and uh, then these values will be assigned to the class variable x comma y comma z so that's how we are defining the point as soon as we are um, initiating it so let's run this piece of code and here we have the output as we have uh, uh, seen earlier the output is going to be the same okay there will not be any difference in the output so let's try to optimize this code a bit now you can see we are repeating the functionality of the method assign okay so um, uh, we are repeating the functionality of the method assign in the method init okay so we can even uh, reduce this line of code to a single line of code like this this is self dot assign x comma y comma z 
so now now see what we are doing here we are just uh, accepting these values and then we are calling another method from the same class and we are just saying self dot assign so it means that we are actually referring to the same object while calling this method so whenever we are going to declare any whenever we have declared any object for this particular class say p1 okay so let me uh, tell you how the flow uh, uh, how the flow of this program is we are uh, passing the arguments 2 comma 3 comma 5 okay so these uh, arguments will be caught by these these parameters x y and z and these parameters are themselves acting as arguments to this particular function call okay uh, so sorry this particular method call this assign is a method it is associated with a class we have just seen it in the last video tutorial sorry for the mistake and then here in this definition we are uh, accepting these as arguments and these arguments are then assigned to the class variables x y and z that's how we are defining the point okay so this is very uh, optimized code we there are no repetitions in this code this is very simple and um, so now uh, you can uh, you can uh, directly assign the values uh, to the point while uh, instantiating it. So in this line, we are uh, declaring as well as instantiating uh, object P1. Okay. So let's see the execution. Okay. As I have said already, there will not be any difference between uh, the output of the previous program as well as this program so this is how we uh, define the init method uh, init method autom automatically runs uh, when we uh, uh, when we create the object of that particular class so uh, as you can see like p1 equal to point two three comma five so it is uh, implicitly it is calling uh, the init method implicitly so there is no there is no need to call this particular method explicitly okay so uh, this is how we define uh, and uh, uh, this is how we define an initializer method in uh, uh, in a class for any class in python 3 thanks a lot